it's a nice cold day in Napa. Finally getting some winter this year. And we're just gonna go to the market and see what we can put in a wood burning oven. That's the fun part about going to the market. We, we live in Napa and, and shit just grows here. Can I, sh can I say shit on, on video? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so when I go to the market, when I start cooking, what I think about is, is flavors and textures and how do we make them work together. So we're gonna, I'm gonna look here and see what's, what's available. Hey guys, how you doing? Oh, look at this. We have some beautiful cabbage and I think I'm gonna roast a whole one. So I'm, I want a small one for that one. Um, there we go. That's a relatively small one. Nice, firm. It's gonna give us a nice texture when we cook it. Romanesco is one of those things that people are scared of buying. And when you buy it, you want to make sure that it's nice and firm. This is, ah, it's going to be still okay, but it's the end of the, it's the end of the season. I mean, you can see how beautiful this is. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to take one of these shiitakes. They're packed of flavor and we don't need a lot. We're just going to take a little bit, a couple of handfuls. Asparagus is coming into season. Should we do asparagus? Yeah, we should do asparagus. Okay. And a couple of Meyer lemons. Let's take a few Meyer lemons. Those are always nice. Look at the radicchio. This radicchio is absolutely gorgeous. So definitely a radicchio in there. Oh, spring onions. There we go. That is what we want. Nice spring onions. I think we're good vegetable wise. Maple vinegar. Of yes, you yes, do. you do. You do. You definitely get the sweetness. It's interesting. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. What are you cooking tonight? Um, we got some vegetables. <laughs> what do I, I mean, in, in the what? We walked 20 yards. We interacted with three different people, tasted one thing. It's fun. It's, that's, what, that's what a community should be. If you don't know what you're, where you're from, you'll never be able to be whole. And if you're never whole, then you're not going to be cooking wholesome food. And wholesome food tastes better. It's all, it's a circle. It's all a circle. And I think we're going to get some spider steak. This is our local, and there's actually a really good spice store. Um, spices as a whole, when you, I mean, spices are flavors, okay? We have salt, which is the base for enhancing flavor and everything. Acidity, which brightens everything up. And we got that in lemon, and we have salt in the in the by the oven so now we want to add another depth of flavor when you buy spices this is probably the perfect example you don't want to buy from a huge pile that's been sitting there for three months and is just spoiling away small jars like this they go through this quite quick so especially those mixes that they have they have steak seasoning bloody mary seasoning bloody marys we need to have some bloody marys rotisserie chicken all this stuff is around here uh, we're going to make a little bit of our own um, Russell Hanout real quick with them and we'll go from there. So um, I want um, cumin, dry, ground cumin, ground coriander, ground ginger, um, a little bit of turmeric, very little turmeric. Um, let's see what else do I want. Um, let's get a little, of, a little, bit, of, a little bit of Aleppo um, and a little bit of um, sweet smoked paprika. Beautiful. So. Before you leave the store, mix it up. And if the spices are nice and fresh, like they are here, just give it a good whiff. And you're gonna get this, exactly the flavor of it is, of whatever it is. Oh, yes, mama. Smell this. It's insane, it's just so nice. Oh yeah, that's good. So that's gonna be on our steak. Now let's go to the oven, let's cook. It's a jolly holiday with Mary. If I sing a song for Mary Poppins, does, do we have to, to pay copyright? The train is coming! Do we want to catch the train next to the ovens? Let's go catch the train next to the ovens. The train is coming! Look, there's a train! I love this train. And... Action. So, 
Um, we're back from the market. We're here at, actually, it's what? It's less than 200 yards away, which is the prettiest thing you can do. And we have, well, let's take a look at what we got. We got some beautiful, gorgeous early season asparagus. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, got ourselves beautiful, 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 young, crisp spring onions. Here's another one. Got these beautiful shiitake mushrooms. I'm just gonna put those in a bowl. This, what, what I'm doing right now, that's called mise en place. And when you cook, inspiration comes from having stuff at hand, at least for me. So if I see what I have, it makes life much easier on me to then just go ahead and cook. Um, we got the beautiful Romanesco. I'm gonna deal with that in a quick second. Got some Meyer lemons. Got some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Meyer lemons. Radicchio. Look at the color of that. We need to find a way to preserve the color on that. We got ourselves a head of cabbage. Nice, beautiful green head of cabbage. Gonna peel out the not so nice outer leaves. Gonna put those in the trash. And this, ah, oh, we're just gonna put it in the oven. Nothing to it. Put it in the oven. I'll put a lemon next to it. So, last thing we have, we have this beautiful spider steak. Just gonna open this. And the beautiful thing about working with a wood burning oven and with this, these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ingredients, you don't wanna mess them up. You don't wanna deal with them too much. Let them shine. I mean, look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. There we go. Beautiful. So, we have our mise en place at the ready. That's the important part. Now, cabbage is already cooking. One lemon is already in there. Let's start with Romanesco. So, we're just gonna cut it into florets. Little eeny beeny flowers, the individual portions, and it's so easy to work with that all you need is a nice sharp knife and it's already in pieces. Easy peasy, put in a big cast iron pen. So, um, got the Romanesco cut, and it's okay if you have a little bit of the leaf left over, they're tasty. A um, little bit of olive oil, a little bit of kosher salt, a little bit of chili flakes, just because I'm in the mood for it, and some za'atar. Mix that around, and now we go in the oven. Seasoning right next to the fire. So, what I wanna hear when I put stuff in a cast iron in the oven, I wanna hear this lively sizzle. It means that things are getting hot. It means that things are crisping up. If it's in there for, what, two minutes and it's not sizzling yet, throw a couple of logs in the fire. Make sure it's nice and hot in there. I mean, right now our oven is probably at about 600-ish, 600, 600 degrees, and, and that's good. That's what you want it. It's not 800, 500, 850 that you want pizza for, but it's at, the, it's at the nice warm temperature. We're not curing stuff here, we're cooking it. So up next we have the asparagus. And again, very simple. Keep it, keep it simple, stupid. Basically, that's what we want to do. Not, not complicate things. Make life easy on us. Cast iron, salt, olive oils. Ah, screw it. Let's put the mushrooms in there as well. Ooh, it's tasty. Going to go with our spice mix here. So we made this spice mix at the store. This goes in the oven. Right into here. Lemons, that's where we were at. So, we have these beautiful Meyer lemons. Just gonna cut them in half, just like so. I'll keep this one like that. Radicchio, cut it in quarter this way, quarter this way, quarter this way. Now, whenever I work with the wood burning oven, I always have a stack of towels right next to it. And the reason I have that, before we start cooking, I put a cast iron in here to get it nice and hot. And what that gives us, gives us the ability to now 
sear. And I could not have grabbed the cast iron if I didn't have those towels and actually getting hot in my hand. So lemons are nice, searing nicely. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt on the radicchio, a little bit of grapeseed oil, just because I want a bit of a flavor difference. Um, it's not, doesn't really matter. You could use olive oil as well. And they go in here as well. And you can hear the sizzle as soon as you put it in a hot cast iron. That's why we, I love using cast irons in a wood burning oven. So basically, we just don't want, you, you can see right here, oh, that's a perfect example. You can see here, it's getting brown where it meets the cast iron. This is from the fire. So we want to shake it around so it's not just burnt on one side. So we give it a nice good shake. And I don't even have to lift it. I mean, I'm strong and mighty, so I can. But you can just shake it without even lifting. I mean, you can see it's not even moving. Now, if you have your cast iron too far and you don't want to reach, that is okay. What you do, you grab a poker. And then it's right here close by. Look at these guys, they're beautiful. Taste it. Oh damn, that is good. This is just about ready. This goes here. Now, let's see if we can fish our Romanesco. Look at that, that's perfect. This is absolutely stunning. So, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna transfer it to a bowl. And having a little bit of ash in there, it's okay. It's alive. And in the same cast iron, with all the flavoring from the Romanesco and all those beautiful seasonings, I'm gonna put it back in the oven. I'm gonna take my steaks. Towel stays next to the oven. That's one of the things that I always forget. I keep it, keep walking around. So, steak. I'm gonna move those steaks around so I have room on my plate for all of them in one even layer. Then, I'm gonna put a little bit of salt all around. And it is nice and windy, so use the wind. Okay, and flip, and flip and flip, and flip, and flip, and then I use the, the meat on this hand, seasoning with the other hand. Beautiful. Now, a little, bit, a little bit of our spice mixture, just to make sure that we have good flavor all around. Beautiful. And I'm going to grab that cast iron that I left in there from the Romanesco. Bring it over here. A little bit of grapeseed oil. Steak goes in. Hear the sizzle for shizzle. This goes into the oven. Send it deep. Good. So, look at these lemons. These are absolutely gorgeous. Nice caramelization happening there. This is just a little side dish, so you want to leave a towel on this so it's hot, so you know it's hot, you're not burning yourself. Then, you're just going to take one, look at this beautiful color on it. You're going to put this on like so. Take one lemon and put it on like so. Then we're going to take a little bit of spring onion, just drizzle on like so. Then a little bit of za'atar, like so. A little bit of olive oil just to finish it up. And then you can put a couple Romanescos next to it just to make them feel happy. And move the lemon to a place that it's visible. There we go. That's a little side vegetable side dish. And we can go back to our cabbage now carefully. This, we did nothing to it besides putting it in the oven. Our lemon is, we'll take a look at it. I think we might have to recalibrate with that lemon. Look at that. Oh, it's 
amazing. It's nice and warm throughout, it's steamed. This is absolutely delicious. And we're just gonna put this on like so. Basically, this is finger food at this point. You come, you take a little piece of it. Okay, we're gonna need a camera here. So we had the lemon in there, and that lemon is now absolutely toasty. Actually, oh, you can see it's oozing out. And that's okay. Because now what we're gonna do with this lemon, you're just gonna squeeze this on top without burning your hands too much. Then I have another half lemon here. It's gonna go like so. Leave it on the plate. It's okay to leave burnt stuff on the plate because this is actually delicious. I mean, it's like a fiery lemonade. So good. Bit of bitterness, bit of sweetness from the caramelization. Nice tart. Olive oil on top. And our spice mixture from the store on top. A little bit of salt doesn't take anything more than that so got my steaks here they're beautiful have nice caramelization on them um, just gonna let them rest you want to let them sit for a little bit not let the juices relax what happens is the juices are going to coagulate a bit and going to feel it juicier i'm going to pull the asparagus again just warming this up and what we're going to do is, I'm going to have my two plates here. One and two. And asparagus and mushrooms go in like so. And all we did to this was what? A little bit of seasoning, a little bit of, a little bit of olive oil. That's it. Now, our steaks have rested for a little bit. And what we're going to do is, take a steak. We're going to cut it against the grain. So... You see this beautiful color on the steaks. They're getting wherever they, wherever they were in the pan, they got beautiful color on them. We're just gonna slice them. There we go. This goes on like so. Oh wow. Deep, deep flavor. The aroma of a light smoke because we're not smoking them but we got some light smoke in it the seasoning it's just perfectly cooked throughout even though i say so myself man i'm happy here there we go so quick visit to the market yield us some beautiful romanesco some beautiful beautiful gorgeous radicchio that all we did was put in the oven that's it Romanesco in a cold pan, um, radicchio in a hot pan. The cabbage, probably the easiest recipe I can ever give. I don't even know if it counts as a recipe. But just put a head of cabbage in an oven and let it roast. Um, put some lemon next to it and let it roast. I don't even know if that's a recipe. Um, asparagus, again, cold cast iron with the mushrooms. Let them roast together. If they go on a plate together, let them roast together. Um, and steak. Spider steak. We went for... A little bit of an obscure cut that was just coming out deliciousness. So just cook. Have fun. Cook with whatever's in season. That's all you need. Thank you. It's a wrap. Eat.